Okay, so Parsha Tzav is seems like a repetition of Vayikra because last uh, yesterday we read about all the Korbanot, and again we're reading them in uh, Tzav coming up. The same thing again. The difference is uh, yesterday it talks about the uh, when you're supposed to bring it, and today or this week it's going to talk about how you're supposed to bring it, and it uses the word Torah, Torah, Torah before it introduces each Korban because there's a system on how you're supposed to bring it. Now, the rabbis have, uh, since the beginning of the Karbanot uh, concept, have always uh, had a disagreement about whether we should have Karbanot or not, or whether we're going to have them in the, in the next temple, so to say. And um, I actually want to talk about the Haftorah, because the Haftorah of Tzav is rarely read, because it usually comes up before Pesach, and we read a different Haftorah and Shabbat HaGadol. And there was a, uh, a rabbi who was talking to his community of the young uh, uh, couples who had kids that were going to be permitted in the next few years. And this is going back many hundreds of years. And it was a crazy story because the uh, rabbi was brought in in front of the king. And the king says, I have this pet monkey. It's like one of these crazy kings. And I want you to teach my monkey how to do his haftorah. And, there, and you have one year to do it. And the rabbi is thinking, he goes, you know what, I can do it, but I need five years to do it. And he's telling the story to his community. They go, I don't understand, Rabbi. How are you going to teach a monkey his uh, Haftorah? And the uh, rabbi says, I look at it this way. In five years, a lot could happen. Either I'm going to die, the king might die, or I might actually teach your kids their Haftorah. And if I could teach your kids their Haftorah, I could teach this monkey his Haftorah. Oh. So, <laughs> and uh, I know monkey's here, but I'll just give you a quick note on the Haftorah, which is you don't have to learn it, but you have to learn, well, you have to, not to learn how to read it, but you have to know what it's about. And the Haftorah in Saab is from Yirmiyahu, and he's railing against uh, the Jews, and he's saying, listen, I didn't really want to give you Korbanot. I gave it to you for a reason, and it wasn't so that you were going to create abominations and just bring Korbanot without anything behind it. And there's a phrase that I just want to point out, because we say it every Thursday in the Shir Shayom, it's almost the same phrase, and it says, uh, they didn't listen and they didn't incline their ear, and it says, they followed their own advice, like Eitzah, and and the passions of their heart produced an evil outcome. And the idea, I think, that we're going to get from Saab is, yes, we have to give Korban out, we, there are reasons to do it, there's a process to do it, but ultimately, it isn't about the Korban, it's about why we're doing it, which Saab doesn't cover, and Vayikra doesn't cover, but if you go through the entire book of, of uh, Vayikra, you find Kedoshim Kihiyu. The point is to become holy. So through the process of the Korban, we should be holy. And as we're getting ready for Pesach uh, next week, which is one of the biggest uh, holy moments of our year, we should have the right intentions and have a, a good kosher Pesach. Oh. Amen. 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 Amen.